So very good afternoon everyone. Uh, I'm Prashant Singh. So today we will be understanding the Dawa Interactive Whiteboard. So we have got a 75 inch model right now in front of you. So this is how our interactive board basically looks like. So at the back of this interactive board, we have also used a, a PC detachable module. So with using the PC detachable module, now we have both options. We have Android option and Windows options as well. So major functions and functionalities if we speak about this interactive whiteboard is that we can use it as a whiteboard. We can also use it as a video conferencing product. So for whiteboard, uh, we'll show you how exactly it is done. Uh, for the video and uh, conferencing product when we are using, we can use uh, this as video conferencing product for multiple users. So by multiple ways, we can do the uh, display, we can get people connected to us in the video conferencing segment. So at a one time also, we can display uh, uh, four number of screens uh, on this particular display. We can also uh, use laptops uh, to display on uh, our interactive whiteboard. We can access the laptops directly on our screen as well. So let's first see the whiteboard function, how exactly this whiteboard works. What are the key uh, benefits of using the uh, interactive whiteboard? So for using the whiteboard, we need to select the whiteboard option first. Immediately my screen turns into a interactive whiteboard. So for using this, we have got, we can either use these kind of pens, which you can procure from us uh, while placing the order, or you can also use your hand or fingers also. So let's first see how smoothly we can write using a pen. There is not even a microsecond gap when we are writing, it's just free flow writing. So however I am writing, it is not showing any, any, any delay. It is so smooth and crisp. So it, you can write it in your own handwriting also. It's, it's, it's uh, very <coughs> crisp and clear. Now by using finger also I can write. I can write it down any part of my screen. So it is too smooth to write with finger also in our uh, interactive series of products. So this is what is all about it. Uh, we can use multiple ways of writing, we can choose colors also, we can choose uh, color combinations, we can increase the size of the pen, we can choose colors, say for example, uh, right now we were using a red color, now we will go ahead and choose, we have chosen green color, so let's see uh, how we can write it on green color also, so uh, any color combinations are also possible, so you can increase or decrease the size of the pen uh, size also. So right now I am reducing the pen size, I am using a marker pen and I change the color. I will use violet color right now. So you can see it is so smooth and so crisp. On any part of the uh, display I can write without any delay or without any gap. Now when we move to the next part, <coughs> we can do the erase also. So for erasing, Chalo. So for erasing part, we just have to, uh, you know, use our hands. We can use our hands or any uh, duster or an eraser for that. Our hands is sufficient enough to erase on the screen as well. So these are the key features as we talk about the pen. Uh, it is too smooth and uh, too soft. Uh, the next part is uh, the photos. Whatever I have written, I can locally save that image also. I can uh, save the image right now. I have just uh, deleted that uh, image. I have just actually wiped it, wiped it out. If I would have saved that, I would have seen. I could have. I could easily see it here. Say for example, this is a pre-saved image. So this is a pre-saved image. I can get it back on my screen, right? So <coughs> let's let leave. This. So uh, the next part is the shapes and sizes. So multiple shapes and sizes can be used to draw. Uh, let's see this shape. So when we choose that shape, automatically the shape we can get at multiple locations. Whatever you want to do, you can choose and do it. So these are all about the shapes. The next part is... So as far as this uh, selection tool is concerned, for understanding this, let's first select one shape. So we have drawn one shape here and uh, now we want to change the position of this shape from here to this location or maybe you know we will draw another from this uh, particular location to some other location so we will use this selection tool we will select this shape and we have selected it and this way we can drag it to any part of the screen 
So this is so smooth and uh, so crisp and clear. You can see it's moving easily. You can drag it to any location and uh, do it as per your need. Uh, next part is uh, we can we can actually go back to our previous screens also. If we are sharing this to the uh, if we were showing some presentations and we want to go back to the previous page or web page whatever we have displayed during our meeting, so that can be easily uh, also done. So whatever I have done, I can just go back uh, one by one also, or see all my uh, all my things are going one by one, or I can also use this menu to go back to my previous slides. So my previous slide where I have written the first slide where I actually erased Prashant is also here, so it's back again on the slide one, right? So these things can be saved easily and can be operated also. For more menu options, we need to just select this option and we have other, other options available with us. If we want to have a new uh, slide here, so we will select a new slide and automatically we can get a new slide, we can save this slide. Uh, moving to the next part, we can open previous slides, we can change wallpapers. Uh, right now no need of uh, opening the previous wallpaper, just showing what all features are there. We can change the wallpaper also from here. See currently my background is black, I have chosen black, I can go with white also. Now my screen is completely white. I can choose other screens also, maybe if I want to go with a blue screen, I can go with blue. I have got option of green, I have got an option of uh, pale light uh, background as well. So this way I can use it as a smart interactive whiteboard. These kind of solutions are more uh, predominantly used in the schools and colleges. It can also be used in corporate offices for meetings. The last part is like, you know, I can save or save it as according to my need and requirement. If I want to do the uh, sharing of this particular file, I simply can generate a QR code. So QR code will get generated. QR code will get, the QR code gets, the QR codes get generated easily and I can scan this QR to download all my PPT what I have written on the screen easily. I can email this particular uh, presentation also. Right now I have not configured email, so it is telling me to configure that first. I can quit the menu also and uh, I can just quit the menu and uh, go back to the main slide.